In this video I want to talk about nitrogen oxides or NOx emission. This is the first part. So as you know we are talking about air pollution. So this part we are talking about nitrogen oxides. So we have nitrogen oxides in different forms. Nitrogen oxides represent the following seven oxides of nitrogen. So if you consider these seven forms, we have nitric oxide, which is NO, nitrogen dioxide, which is NO2, nitrous oxide, which is N2O, the nitrogen dioxide is N2O2, the nitrogen trioxide is N2O3, the nitrogen tetraoxide N2O4, and the nitrogen pentoxide, which is N2O5. So the first two, nitric oxide, NO, and nitrogen dioxide, NO2, belongs to air pollutants. So these two are polluting air. So we consider them as air pollutants, or basically we consider only these two as socks. So you remember in sulfur oxides part, we talked about uh, reduction and oxidation. We said reduction, we have reduction when we are adding hydrogen to a compound or when we are removing oxygen from the compound. On the other hand, we have oxidation. Oxidation means addition of oxygen and removal of hydrogen. So as you see here, and if you consider elemental form of nitrogen, which is N2, if we add hydrogen to it, we produce ammonia. So it's reduced. So we have reduction from right to left. And on the other hand, we have N2. When we add oxygen to it, we produce NO, which is nitric oxide. So we have oxidation because we're adding oxygen. And if we have another step, for the second step, we oxidize it again. NO is going to produce NO2. So we have one more step for oxidation. So from left to right, we have oxidation because we're adding oxygen. So NO2, NO, N2, NH3. So from right to left, we have reduction. And from left to right, we have oxidation. NH3 to N2, NO, NO2. And then reaction with water is going to produce nitric acid or HNO3, which is nitric acid. So nitric Nitrogen oxides. NO or nitric oxide is converted to NO2 in the atmosphere. Emission of both species frequently are lumped together with the designation of NOx. When NOx emissions are presented in mass units, the mass of NOx is calculated as of if all the NO had been converted to NO2. Because NO is very unstable compound, so it's going to co finally convert to NO2, so then we consider the concentration of NO2. So these are the emissions estimates for nitrogen oxides. As you see here, these are the different sources. Coal combustion is around 26%, 26.5%. Oil combustion, we have around 2%. We have gas combustion around 8%. Industrial processes around 3%. And you see we have vehicle emission. On road and off road together is going to be almost 50%. So it means that half, half of all nitrogen oxide emission is coming from vehicle emission. <coughs> so trends in US emissions of nitrogen oxide in terms of thousands of tons per year. So we have a stationary fuel combustion and we have mobile sources. A stationary fuel combustion. As you see, it's reduced. Industrial process is also reduced from 271 to 67. And also we have mobile sources, it is from 12,000 to 5,000. So in total, as you see here, we have 26, almost 27,000 to all the way to 16,000. <coughs> so nitric oxide or NO is formed both from atmospheric nitrogen and from nitrogen contained in some fields. So we have two sources, atmos from atmospheric nitrogen, which is N2, and nitrogen contained in some fuels. The anthropogenic source, or it's called human-made source, depends on the fuel composition and is not important for fuels with low nitrogen content, but is a major source of NOx in coal combustion, because as you know, coal has large number of nitrogen there. The nitrogen content is high. Nitric oxide is a colorless gas and a 
free radical. It is a precursor to nitric, ac nitric acid and particulate nitrate. So, <clears throat> for example, here you can see the ratios NO2 NOx ratios in total in emissions from various sources. For industrial boilers, it's point, point 0.9 to 1. For motor vehicles, for example, internal combustion engine is almost 100%, point 0.99 to 1. And petroleum refinery heater from point 0.93 to 1, as you see here. So these are different sources and sinks of uh, atmospheric nitric oxide. Sources are denitrification in soils and plants, lightning, fossil fuel and biofuel combustion, biomass burning, photolysis and kinetic chemical reaction. On the other hand, for sink, we have atmospheric chemical reaction, dissolution in surface water, and deposition to sea ice, snow, soil, vegetation, and structure.